This building has been several years in the making. Today was the grand opening for a new addiction recovery facility in Urbana. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. Jessica's on assignment. It's through Lifeline Connect, a recovery program for men. The new building is a live-in dorm that holds 24 people. WCI3's Jennifer Jensen is in the newsroom tonight. Jennifer, they've helped a lot of people already. Paul, in 12 and a half years of running this program, they've worked with more than 80 men in addiction recovery. The program lasts a year, and with this new dorm, they'll be able to help so many more. For Timothy Murray, addiction became a crippling lifestyle. I was drinking all night and using meth to take away the hangovers. It began to ruin his life. Eventually, I had lost a really good job that I had and ended up homeless. He joined Lifeline Connect's addiction recovery program, and then his life began to change. If it wasn't for this program, I have no doubt that I would be dead or in prison. Today was a new beginning for the program, too. A ribbon was cut, and the doors were opened to a brand new dorm for the men in the program to live in. They'll get a whole life recovery. We'll deal with issues that drive their addiction, things that have maybe happened in their life, uh, false beliefs, things that cause them to need to use drugs. They'll get counseling, life skills classes, and work training to get a job. The voids that they're filling with drugs and alcohol and all these issues of crime are filled with happy life and pursuing a purpose. It's a safe environment away from the influences of addiction. Dozens came to the grand opening to show support, including Champaign's police chief. So I am so glad to see that we have this jewel here so that we can interrupt some people's trip into the criminal justice system and allow them to be successful. Murray says he's grateful to live here and to be supported in sobriety. It's built my work ethic back up. Um, I'm building a relationship with my daughter. I have a six-year-old daughter. She was just here this past weekend. And before I came, I really didn't have a relationship with her at all. This project cost $630,000. They raised half of it through community support, and the rest was donated in labor. People will start moving in within the next couple weeks. In the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jensen, WCIA3, your local news leader. It's really great that the community is behind them. It sounds like some people obviously need the support. Jennifer, thanks.